What's up guys, this is Will of Will H Tech Review, back with another video, and today I'm going to be taking a look at some of the new features that Android 10 One UI version 2.1 has brought to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. So I put this on here maybe about a week or two ago, and I have been just enjoying the update, and I want to show you a few things that I like or don't like that I've seen. So I will leave a link where you can check out all of the new improvements or uh, that came with the update in the description down below. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you that this is on, let's go here. So One UI 2.1 Android 10, and that is the update. Now my tablet is still on March 1st, uh, 2020 uh, security patch. So. That is kind of strange there, but maybe it'll come out pretty soon. So let's get into uh, some of the things that I like about this update. So one of the first things that I like is the new drop down menu here. As you can see, it doesn't take up the whole screen like it did before. And uh, it's pretty neat looking. Uh, you can, if you swipe here or if you swipe in the middle, it'll be in the middle of the display. Or if you swipe on this side, it'll be over here. So it depends on which side of the display you swipe. That's where the drop down menu is going to happen at. And I think that's pretty neat right there. So another new feature is what they have here. They have gotten rid of Bixby Home and replaced it with Samsung Daily. So as you can see, this has a totally different look. Over here, it's giving me my weather. It's telling me rise and shine will. And then over here, you can have your favorite uh, apps or uh, briefings or whatever you want to have over here uh, your scores uh, news and things of that nature so this has a totally different look to the new Samsung daily so next thing that I uh, checked out was in the files menu here so you now have the ability to have filters here so if you're looking for a certain uh, if you're looking for videos uh, certain movie uh, pictures or movies or whatever now you can search by filters so if you wanted to go in there and, and just look for your videos then you could just tap on this and it'll bring up all your recent videos you can search by yesterday past seven days 30 days you can search for documents images uh, jpegs uh, all of that stuff you can search for and that is a great thing that they have added to the files menu and also with the files you uh, you now have a trash bin now so if you delete something and you think about well man I didn't mean to get rid of that now you have a trash where you can go back and uh, get that file back if you need to so that is something neat that they have added to the files app and I really do like it. So another feature they have added is to the calendar. So now, if you create something on your calendar, you now have the ability to add stickers if you want. Uh, you can add all different types of stickers. Uh, and there's a great selection of them. You can also add ringtones to this as uh, something to remind you. But if I wanted to add a certain sticker, say it was somebody's birthday, I can go ahead and I'm trying to do this behind the camera guys so I could add that to this date uh, go ahead and notate whatever I need to notate on it and that sticker will be there and like I said you can also add uh, sounds to this as a reminder as well so uh, another neat update that they have there so within the keyboard they have also added a few neat things that you may or may not need to use uh, it's probably not going to be something that I would use, but within the keyboard, uh, you can all now you can you have a ability to translate different languages. You also have the ability to search for stuff in Spotify, your Spotify app, a certain song, or if you want to share a certain music selection with someone, then you have that ability to do that uh, within your keyboard now. So that is something new that they have incorporated in there. And if that's something that you need, then you now have it. So, 
Let's get back to it. And so there's the menu there. And I think that's all I saw in that. Uh, but that's, that's not something that I'm probably gonna be using, but it is there if you wanna use it. So another thing that's added to the dark mode that we already have here, now you have the ability to uh, incorporate dark mode within your wallpaper here. So I have it on now. If you look at the subtle differences, when I turn this off at these wallpaper up here, maybe you'll be able to see it. So that is on, that is off. So you have that ability to, and this these wallpapers may not be the best uh, to use to, uh, to show you the differences there, but uh, you do have the ability to add dark mode to your wallpapers. Okay, so one of the last things that I wanna demonstrate here, I'll show you, is within Dex mode. So I can take my keyboard and I can jump right into Dex. And within Dex, uh, if we would open up apps before to get those to go full screen, let me demonstrate one here that I know will not open in full screen. I just wanna show you. So, uh, YT Studio here, it, it never goes into full straight, no matter what. But if you hit this to expand it, this is what we would get all the time. Uh, you would have to hit this restart to make it go full screen. Of course, that app never does it, but I'm gonna show you now that we have the ability to snap apps in the full screen. So if I wanted this one to go full screen, uh, I can either drag it over here. And I can snap it full screen like so. Let me go ahead and bring it back down. Or I can bring it to the side and half snap it like so. And I can go over here, let's see, to... Let me go to my browser. And I'll open this one up. So now I can snap two strings side by side here. And you'll see the little box come up when you can let it go. So now I got two side by side uh, apps here and I can resize them. I can do what I want, whatever I want to do. Now, if I want one of these to go full string completely, then I can grab this one like so, drag it over the top and now it goes full string completely. So. Uh, that is something new within the uh, DEX mode. And that's all I pretty much see in DEX. But the, the update has been pretty good. Let me get out of DEX. And to me, it seemed like it has made it a little bit res more, more responsive, a little bit speedier. As you can see, uh, everything seems to be just a little bit snappier within this update. So. All right, guys, those are just a few things that I like about the new One UI 2.1 update for your Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. Catch you guys in the next video. Will H, and I'm out.